Episode 2, The Pastry Chef. Now, I don't recommend doing this at home, Kamani Ruffin playfully warns her viewing audience, but licking the spatula after scraping out the last bits of cake batter is a household tradition in my family. The pastry chef moves about the kitchen with poise and ease of a southern girl. She smacks the bottom of the cake pan to get rid of the air bubbles that are trapped inside the batter. Just the way her great Nana did every time she made Kamani's favorite butter pound cake. Kamani smooths out the surfaces of the cake mixtures so that they can rise evenly. Baking the perfect cake takes time, patience, and love. Kamani's rag to riches tale is a human interest angle most television networks are looking for. The full-figured culinary temptress opens a preheated oven and places the metal pans inside. The American black girl with walnut brown skin that is as soft and smooth as a velvet cake smiles graciously while continuing her tale. My great Nana would let me have the whole mixing bowl if I was a good girl. After she poured the last batch into the cake pans, she'd wink at me and say, here you go, child. The live audience seated just beyond the periphery of the stage kitchen smile and laugh at Kamani as they verbally interact with the young cooking star. She projected the wholesome image of a black Betty Crocker. Although her personal life had been ravaged by a teenage pregnancy and the heartbreak of losing a husband, the 23-year-old has the tenacity and the tenacious spirit of the Ruffin women and her family. Kamani is a baking celebrity with the family first values of a country gal and a friendly disposition that has stolen the hearts of a nation. Just like the iconic fictional Betty Crocker who entered the kitchens of many desperate women through the way of radio in the 1920s, Kamani reached her fans and subscribers through social media. YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, Facebook. She has created a winning brand that is ad-friendly and popularly supported by the food industry. Kamani peers into the camera lens directly facing her cooking table and asks, who out there knows what I'm talking about? How many of you were raised in a house where grandma did most of the baking? Kamani's great Nana baked every Saturday night, and then early Sunday mornings, she would deliver them to the church kitchen just in time for the bake sale. The young chef is proud of the family tradition and follows in the footsteps of her mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother. But if you don't agree with eating raw batter because of the eggs, that's okay. That's all right. I understand. Times are changing. People's attitudes are changing. And as you can see from my big old kitchen, technology has swooped in and changed the way I bake. The well-lit kitchen area is surrounded by teleprompters, laptops, computers, cameras, stationed on tripods, and a whole host of people directing and assisting Kamani with her food channel. This young black woman is the next lightning caught in a bottle sensation. Kamani's humble beginnings and temporary homelessness are the American come-up story. Making the glaze for this 7-Up cake isn't hard. You can't mess it up, Kamani encourages sweetly as she measures out cups of white confection sugar. She adds several pinches of freshly grated lemon and lime skin to the mixing bowl. The yellow and green zest will make your cake pop with both color and flavor. Kamani glances briefly at her toddler sleeping in the playpen just outside the view of the live audience. She smiles at her great Nana, who is quietly knitting a blanket while watching over little Junior.